all right so guys not that it should come as a huge surprise but something is batting big that foldable phones will break the phone industry saturation cycle manufacturers have been shipping fewer and fewer handsets for a while now as people are keeping their devices much longer than before giving how powerful and camera capable even today's mid-rangers are but foldable smartphones could change that as they are getting up to actually become mainstream a few years from now. Just like the Galaxy Note, the Galaxy Z Fold will be remembered as the OG of the foldable smartphones, the handset that kick-started the foldable smartphone trend and even though foldable devices still are not a mainstream product category, something is adamant to turn them into one moving forward. Improving on its existing designs in a big part of that plan, both from an end-user perspective and the standpoint of cost-effectiveness and that's what Samsung is doing with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. According to its news and the sea of display supply chain consultants, Rose Young, Samsung has developed a new tech that will make the Galaxy Z Fold 3 both slimmer and lighter than its predecessor. Also, it will improve its battery life while providing a brighter display at the same time. How they are doing it by removing the polarizer from the flexible OLED on the Z Fold 3. You see in current phones, whether it's foldable or a regular smartphone, there is a layer of polarizer on top. This polarizer helps reduce the reflections on the display, but the drawback is it increases the thickness of the display by 50 to 100 micrometers and at the same time it reduces the brightness as well. So by removing it not only the display thickness can be reduced by 20% in the foldable smartphones but the brightness of the display can be improved by a massive 20 to 30% as well. Now you might ask since they are removing this polarizer would not that make the display of the Z Fold 3 more reflective? Well, the contract this something has developed a new color filter and new black matrix with a thickness of less than 5 micrometers that will make sure the light doesn't reflect back. The biggest advantage of this is that it will improve the battery life as well by more than 30% which is huge if we also consider the new LTPO panels. One of the contributing factors to increased battery life is that since there is no polarizer on the Z Fold 3 which means that 30% brightness loss that could have been occurred because of this polarizer would not be there. This means the display will require less power to light up the same nits of brightness as before thus improving the battery life. I know this is a bit technical and I am trying to keep it as simple as I can but all you need to know is that this new display will make the Z Fold 3 have a 20 to 30% brighter display, 30% battery life better and will keep the device lighter and thinner at the same time. By the way this goes in line with what Samsung has said back in December that the future Galaxy smartphones will sport a thinner and lighter design although Samsung didn't mention the reason at the event back then but now we know how they are doing it. Honestly, this got me excited because one of the biggest reasons for me that go against buying a foldable device is that they are pretty thick for what they offer. So a thinner device is definitely something I am looking forward to plus better battery life and brighter display makes it even more appealing. Something will launch the Z Fold 3 in July. Do consider subscribing for all the latest coverage on this handset and I will catch you guys in the next ones. Peace out.